hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is kb5063842 or kb5064794 so the first step is to pause and restart the update so on windows update screen here you can see pause option so hit pause and once you hit pause uh, you will see resume updates option so click on resume updates and then you can check still not working the next step is to start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart or start now find windows update services scroll down at the bottom here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click and then click on start or restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now you can check still not working run update troubleshooter now for this you can go to windows settings and then uh, go to windows update option and then click on troubleshoot now click on additional troubleshooters click on windows update and then click on run the troubleshooter this process will take some time and once this is complete you can restart your computer and then you can try to update your windows 10 still not working the next step is to run these two commands so copy the first command Click on next and just follow the on screen instruction to complete the troubleshoot and then restart your computer and then check. If that does not work, you can run these two commands. So type in cmd in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And during this, uh, like it will run a scan. And once the scan is complete, it will it, you have to restart your computer. And once the first scan is 100% complete, run the second command. Copy the second command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to update your Windows 10 and then you can check. But let the scan complete. This, this may take some time. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here uh, write down the name of the update that is kb5063842 and then click on search over here ignore the language the language is different over here so let me translate so over here you can see Windows 11, Windows 10 version 2 to H2, H2. This is ARM. This is x86. This is x64. So you have to select. Uh, you, you can check what kind of system you have. You can go to Windows settings and and then you can go to system and then you can go to about option over here. And you will see. Uh, for me, it's 64 based. So for it's Windows 10 version 2 to H2 x64 based system. So you sometimes you might find it over here sometimes it is at the top so you have to install this x64 as per your system type and then click on download and then you run and click on this file and once let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working uh, the next step is to use media creation tools so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see uh, create windows 10 installation media click on download now and then you can run this exe file just run this exe file now once you run the exe file uh, you will see this screen click on accept over here and by default upgrade this pc now will be selected so make sure upgrade this pc now is selected and then click on next over here and then that process will take some time it will download it verify it that process will take some time and once that is done you will see accept option click on accept and then over here ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked 
when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then click on install after the installation installation will take some time and after the installation log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install the update successfully on your windows 10 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel